What up? This is the incomparable Mike the Philosopher, along with Ski and Black Mellow. And today's topic is about the family, the family structure. Nowadays, in our community, uh, the family structure has been pretty broken up. Um, uh, there are a lot of a lot of things that need repair in the community, not even just in our community, but in all communities, to be honest. But it affects us the most. Uh, it displaces the fathers out of the homes. Um, and when left to own devices, mothers and kids uh, do suffer um, because of that. Uh, what, what do you got to say about that, Black? Well, <clears throat> I say Proverbs 13 and 22, you know, great is the man that leaves a, a legacy behind. I say we start off on the wrong foot, not having any right information. And when I say we, I mean the people that they seem to like calling black people, which ain't a real people at all. But for the sake of this conversation, black people, we we don't we don't have any um, we don't have any knowledge of self, and because of that, we don't have any knowledge of our worth. And because of that, we never can attain it. The Bible say, a fool and his money will soon part. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So as a whole people, as a nation of people, we ain't never seen no money. Our nation, a, a individual people have, you know, but our nation, nah, you can't say that about Jewish people. You know, nation has seen money. Caucasians right. nation has seen money. You know what I mean? Arabs has seen money, all the heathen nations. And I'm not saying he been in a negative derogatory way. It just means non-Israelite. That's all that means. Okay. So they are legit heathens, but they have seen money. You know, our people, we are the source of all money in the earth. In one way or another, we are the source of money on the earth. We are the salt of God's eye. We are gold. We are living gold. You know what I mean? Our money is worth literally more than gold. Oh. Right, but how does up. that how does that translate to the family and the structure and stuff? Well, because we've never seen money, we don't know how to manage it. We don't we don't understand wealth, and we don't understand value. We devalue everything as a result. Money is just a a, a time capsule of one's labor and energy they put into that labor, and that's your compensation. You know, money. What you think is money? We nobody really seen real money, lawful money, in today's time because they took it out in 1933. They literally took it out. It's a House Joint Resolution 192 that lets you know there's no lawful money in circulation. So, so are you and saying are we, you saying you get paid to uh just just displace the family? Uh, do the do the women or the men get paid to displace uh, the, the the families in the community? With well, they money? don't get paid. They don't get paid. Like, like welfare, get... like you know, uh, you know, entitlements and stuff like that. There's a sort of a compensation, but there's no payments. You can't pay nobody with a debt. All we, all that's in circulation right now is debt. Everything is debt. It's a debt card. That's why the debt keep going up. That's why they got to push the ceiling up on the debt ceiling so often because only thing circulating is debt. there is no money out here whatsoever Trump ain't got it nobody has got no ain't no money out here okay so well, we're not look, dealing with money okay what what are your thoughts on that ski what how about the family man what what, what do you think uh displaced the family what displaced the family yeah well, it's got a lot of factors, but, you know, I'm just going to one one off top, you know, that I was thinking about was the religion 
And then, you know, we have a structure from, you know, the 1% to property, you know, that's, that's, this, 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 um, um, you know, the game of life, this, this, this monopoly, you know, this, they whole set up, you know, you know what the scriptures say about the rich man, you know, <laughs> I used to, you know, call myself a poor righteous teacher, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I'm not a poor righteous teacher, you know, the truth is, is what it is. It says, thou art rich, you know, and these heathens know who we are, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, it ain't about building wealth with me. It's about, you know, saving souls and, and getting right with the most high, you know, um, uh, the word says again, you know, you will find your wife, which is a hard thing to find, you know, especially right now, you know, doing the slam dimmick. <laughs> dig that but we, yeah we our people seen money you know we just can't build with it you know this this ain't this they set up you know because they you know if they did they they become you know, cumulus you know what well, 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 be like you know what is what is the first the step fam- yeah what is the first step though to getting the families back though um i think like something like 80 percent of uh, you know, our households are displaced, you know, disorganized, uh, don't have a mother and a father in the home. Um, is it is it because the men uh, don't want to be fathers or the women don't want the men in the house or they can't get along or they can't? That would- you know, that was before, you know, the goggles came into play and the instant cart, you know, you can order from Amazon and everything will come to you. Once you got your Vera, once you verified, everything is going to come to you. All you got to do is put your goggles on and be happy. So now, the like I said, the setup is, is dead. You know, it's, it's about, you know, how are we going to, you know, survive this? You know, so there's going to be no pleasant thing. Like I said, the Saints, they didn't go out pleasant you know they went out with <laughs> terribly you know so what's coming is coming like you said this is a storm coming i know a lot of people don't see it you know we can't build no wealth no more you know you, we, we're talking about bitcoins now crypto right nfts and stuff like <laughs> you know for the new world new the new world order you know hey black do you think uh social media has a a part in it Cause I'm gonna tell you, yeah, because I'm going to tell you, man, um, I do think social media played a role in, you know, the, the demise of my used to be marriage. I think social media played a role. I think once women got a look at all the other women, everybody wanted to be uh, like somebody else. They wanted to they were no longer happy with their situation. They became more. Um, you know, feeling like they were missing out in life or something. And I, I could say my ex was a, a victim of that, you know, and, you know, she, whatever, you know, but soon as soon as uh, Facebook and a lot of social media platforms were developed, it, it made women feel as though that they had a community. Now, there's, there's something called um, and I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you finish here, Black. But let me uh, do this. There's something called, um, and, I, and I'm not saying that this is my situation, but there's something called, uh, uh, what is it? Narcissistic, um, like feed or something like like energy supply. It's called supply. And when you have uh, uh, a healthy dose of supply, you don't need it in other places. So what happened is when social media became a thing, uh, the, the, the supply, the narcissistic supply was being fed. So if you don't need it, uh, so, so if you get enough of it from other people and, I, and, and in a, you know, all on the internet, you don't necessarily need it from your man no more. You don't need that attention or that love from your man no more. 
So what happens is, and this happened to a lot of women, and look, I can't even really blame them because the internet was a new phenomenon. Social media was a new phenomenon. And all of that stuff was still not fully understood. So we just became the guinea pigs of this new platform and how it was going to turn out. And and it ended up destroying a lot of families because everybody want to be the boss B now. Everybody want to be that chick. And, and that chick got, and, and attention is currency today. You get, you get a lot of uh, narcissistic supply when you get attention. I don't care if it's on, uh, you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. There are, they're, they're doing short videos now. They're doing TikToks now. Yeah, that's a problem. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. I, you know. Yeah, that's a problem. Myself. So my kids was was babies. I put them devices in their hands, and yeah, the wrong thing to do. Yeah, yeah, because now it's like, you know, you got to compete with a, a social media platform. They 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 had stay stuck in that TikTok and all of this other stuff, man. And it's like, you know, they get they 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 needs met. Uh, you know, with the supply that way through social media. Why the, that's why the new world is is wow. Yeah, how they got that so advanced? That metaverse. It's sad. It's more to come. It's more to yeah. come. What What are your thoughts on social media, Black? I mean, I think it, everything is is a mirror. I think all these platforms are applicable to who you are you know they you know the, the abbreviated abbreviation for applicable is app, and we all using these apps you know based off our own personal preferences and whatnot and desires and all that and they do have like endorphins that they already know is coded they code it to trigger your brain a certain way you know so that you get an instant gratification you know, sort of like uh, them feel good hormones mm -hmm. creeping through the brain, you know, so they, you know, like when the women playing them little uh, angry bird or whatever it is, you know, all that type of stuff. And then, you know, all these little TikTok apps. And, hit. Uh, listen, I be on it periodically time to time, you know, but you can't stay on that stuff too long, you know, and you can't. You can't depend on stuff like that. It's, it's, you know, and this, listen, man, the real world is, uh, these are all things that's premeditated for distraction. You know what I mean? Right. Like keeping you, keeping you distracted, keeping you looking down, entertained, but just on a different level. You know, they used to have to pay millions in Super Bowl ads, you know, to get this type of reaction out of people, you know, but now they can just boom, create an app, you download it. And boom, and periodically got their little messages in there and the little commercials. You know, it's the same effect, you know, but it's definitely shaping the minds of people because people want stuff instant. And that's wow. what we get, you know, we getting distracted instantly and we coming closer to calamity instantly too. But, you know, that's another topic. Yeah, man, um, I, I, I feel the same way, it, you know, I feel like anything that you can become addicted to can ruin a family. And if you're addicted to drugs, that can ruin a family. You addicted to, to casinos or gambling, that can ruin a family. But what people don't realize is you can be addicted to attention and that can ruin the family. You can want all this attention in the world and have all of these, you know, um, dopamine hits because you're getting likes like they created that like button to give you a dopamine hit that's what it is it's crack they even admitted that that that's why they create because before facebook wasn't really uh doing that well but once they added that like button you could release your your opinion about the the article and and not only could you release your opinion about it but 
the 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 one who published the, the story they they looked to see how many likes they got and if they got a lot of likes that was a dopamine hit it's like it's, it's a drug validation yeah and guess what all other platforms followed that like you can get a heart on instagram or whatever or you know you can get it's some form of you know i like this and and on all platforms they followed that facebook blueprint and and that and like i say with anything that you can be addicted to it can ruin a family even if you're addicted to intimacy you know I think um, Eric Benet was having an issue with that, wasn't he? You know, I, Eric, I think Eric Benet from from the mill too, but he was having an issue with that with uh, Holly Berry and messed that up. And then you know, gambling and then social media, like social media, I think is a problem for for uh, families, especially um, families who are uh, in a bit of a or, or imbalanced or looking for something else in their life like if you like if you're a narcissist you love social media because you're on there all the time you're looking to get all your likes you want you want to post as many pictures because you constantly need that validation and and so you're going to post as many pictures as you can and you're going to try to impress as many people as you can And you're going to, in, in retrospect, you're probably going to be uh, damaging your family. Now, if you're doing that with your mate, that still can be a bit of a problem because you can make your audience sick of looking at you. You know, because they're going to be like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you posting all these pictures all the time. I mean, you don't have to like them or nothing, but anything addictive and i stand by that anything addictive can ruin a family and what what that was something that was realized a little too late i i kind of i kind of compare uh social media to gambling more because you you do something and you get a hit or, or gratification and and you become addicted to it with that little gratification like with with gambling it's money and a little sounds and things like that and you like that lifestyle you know and that that can become addictive social media is similar to gambling as, as far as i'm concerned and both can be destructive because uh they can take you away from uh family duties or or uh that that that, that attention or you may not even need that uh, validation from your family no more because you're getting it from so, so many other places. And I kind of witnessed that in my situation because I seen once social media popped, then uh, that that was starting to be the downfall of, of, of our situation. So it is what it is. I probably gave a little TMI, but I feel that part is uh so social media is a big uh problem with uh managing families what what are some of the other things that y'all can think about um is it like i say is it the entitlements or is it uh or can you think of other things that will destroy a family like i said before it, it was it was about you know i don't know the 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 from them from that era but you know as a as the black family was because i remember then you know we were mm -hmm. strong and we we were stuck together you know but every president had an agenda you know to to bring something in to bring something in to bring something in let's go to reagan to bring something in let's bring in this crack now let's do this now let's do that now mm -hmm. top of that we had the religion like i said that's that's separating you know, a lot of the souls, right there. yeah, and a lot the, of the men from the women, yeah. The yeah, the miseducation, the uh, imbalance of, like I said, from the one percent all the way down to poverty. 
you giving this man fifty dollars an hour, and you giving this man to, whose setup is this anyway? <laughs> yeah, and then the traditions, you know, like you know, everything is just was 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 you know was a plan, you know, to do this to to the Negro, you know, at the end of the day. <laughs> right, right. Hey, uh, yeah, that's that's good, Ski. Hey, Black, do you think that the system is uh, profits from dysfunction? Like the court system, like the the lawyers, the, well, the it, all that. It profits from, from ignorance. You know, we we are lawyers. We we are lawyers right now, believe it or not. You know, because every every lawyer he'll tell you he's just practice he's practicing law right mm -hmm. but when we have to uh assign someone or pick an attorney up we have to give him power of attorney so we giving him the power to be our attorney when we don't feel like being one ourselves we are lawyers we practice law every day but we just don't know it. So it's ignorance. You know what I'm saying they profit off of our ignorance because them attorneys getting paid because of what we claim and we don't know. Yeah. It's ignorance. You you think it's a a divide and conquer scheme? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because one thing I know, especially in our community, man, um, one thing that they realize, especially during the civil rights uh, time, is that families were very productive in, in, in moving. I mean, we organized boycotts. We, 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 were, we organized uh, Black Wall Street. We, we, we did a lot of things when we had families. And, and the, the, and you know, I think the com country, I can't confirm this, but I think the country said uh, as a whole, in order to uh, control these people, we have to break up their families. So, so we're not going to do anything to uh, empower the family. We're gonna do things to um, maybe cater to one side or the other. I seen just recently well, where- that's what they did. Yeah, they, and they they cater to the mother. They cater to the mothers, and you know why? Because mothers spend money, and they make these companies rich, and that's what they're. Well, they know, and they yeah, they don't want to do that with men because men are builders, and men and they know the the, the black men will build something and compete with them. The the women they're not going to build anything to compete with them, so they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna allow them women to have money so that they can spend it to continue to make them rich but the men we can't give the men any money any power because they're 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 the builders now here's what happened uh there is a bank and i want to say it was uh mm, i forgot the name of the bank but this bank just offered african-american women um what was it uh 500 to two billion dollars 500 million to two billion dollars uh the numbers escape me right now but the point is they they gave this uh business loan to african-american women alone no african-american men can uh you know participate in this business loan Now, that is something that will, uh, I want to say J.P. Morgan, I think it's J.P. Morgan, that, and it, so if you want to look that up, I think it's J.P. Morgan, but they, you know, that, that was divisive. That was very divisive. Why would you give, you know, $2 billion loan to black women alone? Well, you gotta understand, man. It goes back to doggone Willie Lynch letter, where he explicitly told 
these enslavers exactly how to control the family, the power dynamic, and how to maintain power for himself simultaneously. And that was to empower the biggest, baddest bed wench that he could find, you know, or just the, the mother, you know, basically throw off the balance of power in that household by empowering the feminine energy. So, you know, by empowering her, she would be a good bitch for you. That's, that's his words. Mm -hmm. But if she ever gets out of line, you beat her close to death and leave her out there as an example, and she'll be faithful to you. So empower her when, when she's doing what you told her to do and emasculating the man throwing off the whole balance of the family, controlling the family, and then simultaneously building up his power structure and his efforts. But when she disagrees, now you gotta throw her in jail like Lauren Hill. Now you gotta shoot her and lock her up, kill her like Sandra Bland, mm -hmm. when she goes against you, right? right? So that's the whole position that they take. So they empower the women for a strategic long-term purpose that's building beef up their position. Is it power. because they think the women are gonna work for them? Well, women typically don't go against, they, they, they typically are submissive to authority, to recognize. In our authority. community so, they are? Yeah, because they I could, recognize I, you know, it, but so they don't. I, I could say that they some don't are, can do some of the oppression, op oppressive. That's stuff the that, point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the point. Yeah, yeah that's that was the whole point. So they they'll, are, they'll, they'll they do their there. work for them because yes, they're in the yes. household with these men. They have fully been indoctrinated. We'll, yeah, we'll give y'all we'll give y'all the money to separate yeah. from them and forever. They, and they don't need a man. They don't need a man. After yeah, that. and then they and then they yeah. you know look their nose down at at, at, yeah. at men. Yeah, because massa they, give them giving them whatever they want. So yeah, so you know. that's another dynamic when it comes to the demise of the family is they don't, uh, listen, sometimes the, the women. That's the problem I have. They don't understand to have they don't i don't see a whole lot of them that have this so-called uh i don't even know i don't even want to call it nothing derogatory but they're recognized by the people giving them these funds and giving them these money and giving them any kind of benefit they consider these women bitches period mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. if you look at commercials do this tonight look at the commercials if you see a caucasian man and a black woman you're gonna see a dog in that commercial. Mm. Right after that. Subliminally, he's calling her a bitch. That's mm. what she is to him. Mm. They don't know it. It goes right over their head. I would like but some of the always. women to chime in in the comment section about this and see if if, if bro is right on put this. The, put the test, put it to the test. Put it's it to a the subliminal test. message. Put it to the test. It's a subliminal message. And the same way they always have these hidden symbols where you will see a short black man and a taller Caucasian woman, even man, right. right? Oh, well, or man, I'm just talking about oh, the hidden symbols that they, you know, symbology of his stature uh -huh. being greater than that black man, it's symbol. So when you see it in the back of your mind, in your subconscious, you receive that as he's greater than me, mm. right? But okay. back to the women, this is a plan. This is how to break. This is buck breaking, but it's the female version of it. You give her whatever she needs, and then she depends on you. Mm. And when she's now she's independent of you. Right, of right, right, right. You know independent saying? of you, but she's very yeah. dependent on. Yeah, you very dependent on him. Whatever. But yeah. but let me say this, okay, and just to try to even it out, what is it that the men can do to uh, keep the families going? Uh, or man, what 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 is our problem? This is, is it, this is just my humble opinion, man. Uh -huh. We have to be honorable. We got to be men of honor. Yeah, yeah. We don't have the wealth. We're not gonna compete on that level. We don't have the military. We don't. Have, we can't can't compete on that level. 
we have to just be so honorable. We have to be such men of good character. We got to do what we say we're going to do. We got to we got to show love. You know, we got to protect. Uh, we got to provide best we can. We just got to be honorable. Sum it all up. If we are honorable and we get rejected for that, then so be it. We, we can, you know, we can still get rejected for that. I mean, we can be called all kind of, I, I've seen those, I've seen this one video and I know it's, you know, anecdotal and, you know, circumstantial or whatever, but a guy was asking women, what do you prefer? You prefer a, a nine to five a drug dealer or a scammer? Did y'all see that video? Overwhelmingly, the women wanted a scammer, a guy who scammed people out of money. And number two was the drug dealer. He got, cause he ain't got, he gonna have time for me. He gonna make time for me. And he gonna have a lot of money. And the last guy on the list was the nine to fiver. I was, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I, I, I take that video with a grain of salt. I don't know if all women are like that, but in our community, I was shocked by how many said it. It was absolutely ridiculous. But us as a community, we got to get better. Um, that's just the bottom line. But thanks for joining us on this one. This is another uh, dope episode. Sister BMR covered it. Now it's official. 